My name is Maxim Danilov, and today I want to speak about important part of Django. I want to speak about Django Contrib Admin. Uh, I work with uh, Django Contrib Admin around uh, seven years. I start to work with Django from uh, tw uh, 2013 and uh, from 20, uh, 2000. Uh, 15, I work explicitly uh, with uh, Django Country Padmin. I want to say thanks for my team. Uh, Anastasia Sen uh, created this presentation. Thanks, Anastasia. Uh, our senior developer, Pelikan Pavel, uh, tested all my, uh, created all my crazy ideas. And uh, Martin Achenreiner is our intern. He tested all uh, of whole code. Thank you, Martin. Uh, I'm an owner from a uh, WebSoft company, and uh, mostly what we do at work, we drink. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah, we drink wine. We serve a biggest database about alcohol, about wines in Europa. And, uh, uh, everyone had one incredible project in own life or a pet project. And my, my pet project or my crazy idea, I want to use Django Country Padmin uh, so much as possible. And I, want, I don't want to change uh, a much or I don't want to override a much in this library. I think this library, library is really powerful. First words, Django Country Admin is uh, buggy and has uh, hardcore. What I mean? Django Country Admin is buggy, and uh, in Django Country Admin we have many hard code. All is hard coded URLs, names, variables, uh, constants, uh, settings. All is uh, uh, into the code. If we want to change something, we should to override it. And of course, all of that is not documented. Completely not documented. Uh, something what we can found on Django project, this is uh, one person from this library. Okay. Uh, and right now we should speak about different undocumented feature in uh, Django Country Padmin. Uh, at first, to start, I want uh, to create uh, one app in my project. Uh, mm, in this app, I need only two uh, files. Uh, I need files app and some other files. Uh, and uh, to start to work with uh, admin panel in Django, uh, mm, we can create uh, config class which can uh, set up our uh, admin panel. Uh, somebody understand uh, if I say admin panel in Django? Who can understand it? Okay. Uh, and uh, admin config help us to, uh, mm, to set up the, this admin part of Django and of course we can create additional uh, site admin class which show us uh, the whole information. And uh, I already defined this class. And uh, it's uh, all normally uh, this you can still found in documentation and we can override uh, some small um, elements. And after that uh, we should uh, to define um, to write uh, my new application with uh, admin site uh, class and uh, with admin config in uh, setup uh, of uh, my project and in documentation we can find this example. Uh, and uh, I think this is wrong. Really, this is wrong. Why? Uh, I can define it normally. I can define it uh, simply to write name of my uh, project. I don't uh, write to, I, I should not, 
I don't need to write the whole part to the uh, admin config. I, uh, it, uh, Django take it from uh, my uh, application automatically. And uh, why I think we should do it like this? Uh, if we start to work with big project, uh, the good practice we should uh, define at first uh, built ins application, at second part we should define uh, third party application, and at the end we should define our local application. And uh, if I should to define something above on in the uh, other art, uh, I don't like it. If a new developer come to my company, they don't, cannot understand uh, for, from the first glance how it works, what uh, he should to do. And of course, we can do it a little bit better. We can split our setup on the three parts, and uh, after that, if uh, we want to override something automatically, it's uh, lighter to override. The one undocumented feature is we cannot, in early parts of Django, we cannot define uh, admin uh, after the admin docs uh, application. It not works. But thanks for last uh, last update from Django. Right now it works. I can define admin behind the uh, admin docs. Uh, probably it's here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I cannot. Okay. Mm, admin docs. Right now we can put admin docs in uh, our uh, apps, uh, uh, installed apps everywhere. Thank you for developers of Django. And um, the last part, what we should to do, we should define the URLs, uh, or which contains the whole part of URLs of admin side. And in documentation, we can found uh, this example. And uh, a little bit later, I show you this is wrong, or probably wrong. Okay, next step. Uh, if we start uh, our admin panel, we see it works, but something wrong here, I think. What, uh, what I mean? Uh, next, our feature is, is uh, this is uh, model, uh, model admin auto registry. Uh, if I start to work with uh, my new project, I create, for example, three models. I have a product, I have a shop, uh, and I have uh, images for products. And I want to uh, register it on the uh, admin side. I mm, should create model admin classes. I should uh, import uh, models from model PI. Uh, and I should uh, also import uh, admin registry to register uh, my model admins. It's uh, really complicated, and it's uh, really not clear why it's so. And if I start my new project only with two model admins, I receive what's the what's the hell? Uh, I have my uh, model admins, and something uh, comes without uh, without me self. Uh, of course, I know this is uh, uh, already registered uh, model admins for model, but why it happens? Okay, answer mentioned in documentation. Uh, we can um, uh, don't use. Uh, uh, we can use simple admin config, and this is not happens. Uh, and uh, admin config. Uh, on ready of all apps, uh, created auto registry for all, mo all uh, applications. And I think this is a good point to create something bigger. Uh, what I mean? Uh, if uh, I override this method, and after um, call super, I, I can collect all uh, apps config. After that, I can ask for every app config. Hey, app config, I have a model PI, wait, admin PI. 
if model admin asked me, yeah, you have admin API for this app, I can go through whole models in this application and I can register these models with classes which I can found uh, in uh, admin uh, API. But the important thing, I should name these classes like model name and admin. For example, I have product, I should have in uh, admin PI, uh, I should have a class which named product uh, admin. What I can to receive. Uh, in, uh, if I do it all manual, uh, with hands, I should import models, I should, I should uh, import registry, and uh, I should create uh, classes, uh, model admins. If I do it automatically, it happens automatically. If I don't want to register something, I can uh, simple to change name for model admin class. Uh, oh yeah, for, yeah, for model admin class. And uh, the, the uh, we use it uh, from young uh, uh, Django version, and uh, we, um, uh, it happens automatically, and I can say it's easy. Right now, if I start a new project, I uh, add this, uh, um, this method. Uh, at, uh, first, what I do, I add this method. This is simply we can register our models automatically. Uh, if somebody don't understand what I want to uh, to tell uh, right now, you can read an uh, article on Medium about this possibility. The next, uh, auto-ordering of uh, admin list. Uh, if, I start, uh, if I start my project, what I can see? I see this is the, mm, uh, the sorting of my apps and models uh, without logic or without, uh, ag again, humanity. It's uh, automatically ordered. And why? Uh, in our uh, site admin, uh, we have a function, or we have a method which made many loops at first. Uh, the first loop, we collect all uh, models and apps. The second loop, we uh, sorted it uh, in, uh, in alphabetical order. And after that, we have again one loop to uh, go through. And uh, there, we go through every application. And there, we can uh, sort uh, also model names. We need more loops for God of Loops, but not uh, for our project. Uh, in our project, they can throw away uh, all these uh, sort uh, loops and a uh, healthy uh, method uh, of, uh, uh, which collect uh, all names for application. Uh, I leave only a loop which collect for us methods and uh, applications. And um, accordingly, uh, declaration our application in setup uh, installed apps. We can receive order of apps and accordingly uh, how I de uh, define my methods in my methods PI, I can receive this order. Uh, you can see I create a shop model and image model and product model and I see the model admins in order which I want I want to control this order, uh, and uh, also I can control in which order came application on my uh, model admin uh, on my admin side. Uh, the next feature is uh, multiple admin sites. Who knows about this possibility in Django? Yeah, of course, developer part knows, uh, but uh, somebody who works with that, yeah. Who has, uh, for example, five model admin, um, admin sites on pro in project? Okay, nine, ten, nobody. Okay, multiple admin sites is a uh, perfect, uh, perfect thing. There we can um, simple grouping. Uh, we can create groups of model admins, and we can work only with this group. 
We can create permission-based uh, URL group access. This is really simple and easy. And uh, we can work with a group of my managers, of my admins. Uh, it uh, works much easier. And of course, if you have a big project, you can split development of every more, uh, admin site uh, on different team and they can work uh, independent from uh, uh, other uh, teams. Uh, why we need uh, many admin sites? For example, uh, a uh, simple example, I have an uh, e-commerce platform and uh, I have a managers who work only with products uh, therefore, I have a uh, content admin. Uh, also, we have a uh, stocks manager from stocks works only with stocks admin. And also, we have a big bosses. They want to collect uh, stats of uh, shops or stats of uh, stocks. And they uh, go uh, uh, with own um, admin site URL and they receive their own, uh, they achieve their own goals. Uh, register multiple admin sites is easy. We should create a new class of uh, admin site and we should create an instance from admin site and uh, only one argument uh, to create a new instance is a name of admin site. A big problem in Django, okay, not problem, big on the undocumented feature in Django is we have one default admin site, and this default admin site, by default, is registered with name admin. And uh, this uh, brought us, uh, last 10 years, uh, some problem, but yeah, I know how we can solve it. Uh, mm, register admin URLs. In the documentation, um, we, for every new uh, admin site, uh, we should create, uh, we should import admin site and we should uh, put a uh, path in mind dispatcher URL, URL dispatcher. But really, we, we really should do it now. Uh, easy registry or healthy uh, model admin registry is uh, uh, every instance from model admin is registered in uh, admin sites. In, uh, sorry, in all sites uh, registry. I can collect in my dispatcher URL all sites registry. I can go through, through, through. Uh, I can go through every uh, admin site. I can take name from this admin site and I can register uh, it in path. For example, uh, how it seems uh, before with manual uh, registry and how it seems uh, when you use uh, automatical registry admin site. Uh, of course, if, you, if I create a new admin site, it can be sofort registered. I don't need to change any more anything. I like it and that's why I think it should be in documentation or it should be uh, created automatically uh, uh, if I uh, start a new project. Okay, we can go wide, uh, on to the next slide. Uh, and there we have a problem. I take the, these uh, strings from documentation. Uh, it's a corrected version. In documentation, uh, you can find something other. But uh, if you want to resolve uh, a, any function for model uh, for admin site, you can use uh, this uh, rule: admin uh, like a. Uh, like a name of admin site, swipe points, and after that, app label and the model name. And I can only ask, really? It really works? No, it's not works. For example, uh, I open project. You can, you can check all uh, my idea in repository uh, link. Uh, you can find on the end of the presentation. And if I uh, start my project, on the back end, uh, this URL, admin index, 
uh, works like uh, uh, throws me uh, throws me me, mm, me to the uh, one admin side and on the front end. At the same time, this URL gives us completely other link. What we can to do, what we should to do. Of course, we should always uh, use namespace. Uh, uh, which admin site I want to start right now, or I want to call right now. This admin sp namespace we should use everywhere, in admin panel or in uh, on front end. No, please don't forget about it, but uh, uh, for back end, uh, uh, for default templates, it should all be, it should be all overridden. Right now, uh, we have hard-coded their uh, namespace admin. It's wrong for multiple admin sites, of course. Uh, Permission-based access. This is perfectly, I like it. I can uh, stop uh, access for everywhere uh, to, uh, for the special um, uh, for the special uh, mm, admin sites, and uh, we have a an, an, uh, method uh, names uh, has permission. Every request which goes through uh, admin site, every request calls this method, and there we can check if this user has permission or not. And uh, I use here a special function from Django. I check really permission by this user. For example, super user has all permissions, but they don't have it. We have a checkbox uh, super user. Uh, with this function user has perm, I can check if this super user really has this permission which I want. And additional permission, zum Beispiel this permission is, to, is uh, uh, out of stock manager, this is a new permission. We can uh, create it simply uh, through model meta. Uh, thanks for Django, we can create it simply. Uh, we can define a new permission, but, but after that we should to make uh, migration and migration created a new permission, but migration don't uh, delete any other old permission. And uh, therefore, if you have a big project, more than seven years development history, probably you need also to register permission admin to check uh, and remove old permissions. Uh, most uh, right now we, we go to the most important feature in um, Django Contrib Admin as a model admin class. I like it. Thank you for developers. It's a beautiful... Uh, uh, Really, I'm, I love I love this model admin class, but I understand this is this is really uh, have a many problem. Uh, model admin class uh, it seems like uh, mm, view set from Django REST framework, or it seem, seems like a class based views, but uh, it break. Uh, Every model admin class break down the idea from generic class based use, and uh, uh, model admin class don't have uh, enough uh, class based views uh, functions uh, or the methods features, etc., etc., etc. Many hard code, and but we have mostly problem. Every model admin class, uh, e every model admin instance is singleton. We cannot create more um, more instances from a model admin class. Why it's a problem? Uh, till today, it was not a problem. Yeah, for most developer, it's not a problem, but not for me. <laughs> uh, the first problem: uh, if we, if I have two users who works in the same moment with the same instance of model admin class, this user cannot store uh, own data uh, in uh, this instance. We cannot use instance like a container for data. Why? Uh, data from other uh, user 
uh, can be uh, removed. The second big problem, I don't like this uh, part of uh, model class, uh, if we cannot store the results of uh, internal uh, method calls, we should to call these methods more and more and more time. For example, for one simply get request, we should call 10 methods uh, 37 times. Really? We really should to do it to work with uh, model admin? No. Uh, and I show how we can change it. Uh, all changes last 10 years in um, Django Country Padmin subordinated to this uh, singleton design. And how we can change it? Simply. Problem lays in uh, method model admin get URLs in, uh, uh, in last uh, string. We uh, returns, uh, the returns URLs, but please, can you see what is wrapped in this return uh, in URL? In, uh, in model admin is wrapped instance, a bounded method of instance. If I compare it with uh, class-based view, uh, in class-based view, if I have class-based view, class-based view returned fabric, for instance. For every request for class-based view, created a new instance. For every request of model admin, always re uh, returned a bounded method of instance. It's wrong. How we can, uh, how we can solve it? Answer lays on the some, some lines above. Uh, wrap method, this is... Uh, uh, um, method of our admin class. Admin class wrap this instance. Okay, thanks. I can uh, create a fabric uh, which receive instance and after that uh, I uh, get instance from bounded function. I check if this instance is model admin class instance and after that I can create a new instance and after that I can return call of new instance for every request. That's all. If you can do it, uh, we achieve, uh, uh, we can use a model admin class instance like a data container. Hello? Like a data container. Uh, if um, we uh, can do it, we can store our uh, results. Uh, in um, instance, we can uh, keep user request, something else. Uh, at the second, we can uh, cache heavy methods uh, uh, for in model admin. Um, uh, and what we can achieve to uh, cache only four methods. We can increase 20% uh, of uh, our time. We can uh, increase in, in reality for heavy post request. We can achieve it uh, till 17, uh, 70 uh, percent of time. It's really huge. Uh, and for, for future, if we use it in Django uh, and if we integrated it, we can after that uh, simplify model admin class. Right now, as uh, this is uh, 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 yeah, fast, uh, uh, thousand lines, and uh, right now uh, they have around 600 loops uh, which can be cached. Uh, I think we can we can uh, match ma match it better. And uh, read a little bit more. If you don't understand why is bad or why my solution, we need my solution, you can read it on the in article. And uh, we right now we can go in a little bit deeper. Model admin actions. Who knows model about model admin actions? Thank you. Model admin actions is a really crazy perfect uh, thing in model admin. I like it. I, I really like model admin. And <laughs> uh, uh, what is uh, action in uh, Django 
by default. Actually, a Django is a function. Uh, we declare this function in an attribute action in model admin. Uh, this uh, mm, obviously is a function based. Uh, uh, we don't have any permission. Uh, admin decorator is completely wrong and uh, some function added globally. Uh, mm, confirmation page is immutable and confirmation page has really huge performance problem. Uh, that's why we should to improve it. Uh, my uh, idea is I want to use my um, class-based view to like, a action, like an, an action. But I should to keep a background from model admin class. Uh, on the last post, uh, we should return nothing at first. And at the second, I know why, but at the second, uh, the call of every action switch the um, call parameters. For normal class-based view, at first comes request. For action, at first place comes model admin class, uh, model admin instance. Uh, what we can do? We can, uh, in this case, override uh, three uh, methods of uh, standard of base class uh, view. And uh, I uh, swap on dispatch. I simply swap on dispatch first. Hello. And second. Completely. Uh -huh. Uh, I work um, on dispatch. I swap on dispatch uh, two arguments. I swap on the uh, setup so I argu uh, two arguments. Sorry, I speak mostly on German, and sometimes I speak German. Sorry. And uh, on the last post, I returns nothing. Uh, this is uh, only uh, example how I can do it, and uh, after that, I can declare. Uh, my class-based view uh, with these changes, I can create wrapper. I can create. Uh, I can declare it like standard in uh, dispatcher URLs, and of course, I can wrap it in action, uh, which exists in Django, but we should not use uh, this uh, decorator. Uh, mm, we can use inheritance, we can use much more if we start to use generic class base view. In reality, uh, it can be really a uh, huge uh, declaration with some information for uh, manager and um, only one small function process which change something uh, with uh, object in uh, query set of object. And, um, this example is uh, from our old uh, old uh, project. Here is shown deep inheritance in admin classes. And of course, every uh, class-based use uh, action I can, mm, uh, I can use in many other uh, model admins. But uh, uh, action permission. Uh, action decorator uh, permissions. What's wrong with action decorator? Uh, I know uh, decorator permission required from Django. I know, uh, for example, user permission. I know it. And uh, I see, at first time, I see action decorator, I write permission. Uh, user is uh, stock manager, and it simply, simply don't work. What? Why? I start to work, uh, and I understand the developer of uh, Action Decorator created a new art of permission as a middle uh, text in uh, name of method in model class. Uh, for example, I use word stupid, and I should create a new method in model admin has stupid permission. Uh, at the second problem is uh, this is a new art uh, how permission works. Why? Uh, if I write two permissions, uh, they check by any, not by all. I mean, if we first uh, has stupid permission method return false, after that uh, it calls uh, has view permissions, and if manager 
don't have any stupid permission, he can call this function. And, but I want what this uh, manager, uh, it should be checked the both permission, not only one of many permissions. And that's why I think this is completely wrong. Solution is uh, please to avoid use this uh, decorator from Django. And um, you can simply define uh, permissions uh, attribute for function or for class based views. Uh, and uh, uh, we should only to override uh, uh, filter action, um, actions by permissions. There we can uh, create one liner which check if this function is if this action has per, uh, don't has any permission or if this uh, action has permission and user has this permission too. Uh, this is only one liner uh, uh, here five six uh, here is three lines, but it's really uh, we, we should to do it if we want to work correctly with permission for actions. Uh, and uh, the last thing which I want to, uh, to tell uh, about uh, model admin, uh, I like model admin. Uh, I can uh, simply in two minutes change all what I want or to create all what I want. But sometimes we have not only uh, static model admin, also we have any reactive uh, head. Who has reactive head for uh, admin uh, solution? Uh, reactive backend or something? Nobody, don't matter. And uh, I want to create headless uh, backend, uh, not from scratch. Uh, uh, Django is a framework for perfectionist Smith uh, deadlines. I don't have any time, I have no deadline. I, and I don't have any time to write a new views. Uh, that's why in Django exist, already exist two views. Uh, one is mentioned in documentation but not documented. This view gives us the whole translation and whole localization uh, by uh, Ajax request. And the other view gives us uh, possibility for autocomplete. It's, this is completely not documented at, and it will not be documented uh, the issue closed won't fix. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, I can read the answer, <laughs> of course. And how the idea how we can transform every admin view uh, or uh, every admin model admin view into uh, API. It's simply. Every admin view uh, returns one response. If we have in this response template, we have a context which should be put in this template. Uh, in this moment, uh, I create a response for index uh, for uh, admin side, and I wrap uh, this. Uh, and instead of this response, I take a JSON response and I put only a context for, uh, um, for a response uh, in JSON response. Uh, of course, I use special encoder, my JSON encoder. The solution uh, for, works for whole model admins if I override uh, on admin side uh, again, uh, the uh, uh, admin view, I override it and I wrap every response in JSON response if I call admin side, if I call admin side um, with Ajax method. Uh, mm, the magic lays in the mm, encoder. I take uh, the encoder from Django, it already exists, and probably you want only to add something uh, how this encoder encoded ad action form, admin form, change list model, and HTTP response redirect. And after that, every answer from admin side 
we can receive, uh, I use Postman to, to check it, we can receive in JSON form. That's all. Every URL in admin side we can transform in API only with seven lines of code. That's all. I can change every model, I can change every object, uh, and I don't write any new serializer and API. That's all. The Django admin or, uh, or the Django admin contrib model is a really huge and powerful toy. I like it. And let us to use this power. <laughs> um, I continue my talk on the Django con United States. Uh, there it was, it should be advanced talk. Why? Uh, it, it, it can be a little bit harder than uh, today. And there I want to tell about uh, uh, inlines. I want to tell about uh, Django uh, nested inlines, which exist from early version of Django, but nobody knows about it. And yeah, I want to tell about dominant uh, uh, related widget in uh, admin forum. And I want to tell about bounded, uh, bounded autocomplete in admin forms and yeah, many other things. Thank you. My name is Maxim Danilov, coding repository.